parallelogram is a pretty big classification of a quadrilateral, of a four-sided shape. And underneath that classification of parallelogram, there are a number of other more common names um, that you've probably heard of long before you ever heard of a parallelogram. So we're going to just talk about uh, each of those. Obviously, um, we're going to recognize these shapes right here pretty quick. The first one we have here on the left-hand side is a rectangle. And a rectangle is a type of parallelogram. And G L E. I can't talk and write at the same time. <laughs> so if, if you have a parallelogram and that parallelogram has all four angles at 90 degrees, then you have a rectangle. So a rectangle is a special case of a parallelogram where all four angles are 90 degrees. And then a rhombus. Rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram that's a special case where all four sides are the same. Obviously, it doesn't necessarily have to have all four sides the same to be a parallelogram, but if your two sets of parallel sides, which identify the parallelogram, are actually all equal to each other, then what you have is a rhombus. So it's just another special case of a parallelogram. And then finally, the most specialized shape we have here is the one we actually see the most often, and that's a square. A square is really a rectangular rhombus or a rhomboid rectangle if you like it's both it has to have all four angles 90 degrees and all four sides congruent so if you have a parallelogram with those characteristics where all four sides are the same and all four angles are 90 degrees then what you have is a square but a square again is just a specialized case of a parallelogram now, if you have a parallelogram, what you're looking for is to see if it qualifies as one of these other shapes. There are a couple of other ways we can do it. First of all, we can just prove the things that we just discussed. Either all four angles are 90 degrees, making it a rectangle, or all four sides are the same, making it a rhombus. Or if you like, you can prove that it's a rectangle if the diagonals are congruent. In other words, if we have one diagonal in this shape over here from D to B, and it happens to be exactly the same as the diagonal from D to C, if those two diagonals are congruent, then you have a rectangle. So we just need to show that these two lines are actually the same. And if they are, then your shape actually is not just a regular parallelogram, it actually is a rectangle. Now you can prove it's a rhombus if your diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So if you draw your diagonals from A to C and B to D, and they meet in the middle here at a 90 degree angle, right there, and of course then they'll all be 90 degrees if any one of them is based on our other theorems. If that's the case, then your shape isn't just a regular parallelogram, it's a rhombus. And then finally you can prove that it happens to be a rhombus if when you draw your diagonals, those diagonals bisect the angles on the corners. So if this angle here and this angle here are the same, and if this angle here and this angle here are the same, then that's another way to prove that what you have is a rhombus. So a rhombus has diagonals that bisect the corners and that meet at a 90 degree angle, and a rectangle has diagonals that are the same as each other. Um, so those are just some other ways that we can classify a parallelogram as being one of the special cases of parallelograms. All right, let's take a look at the example questions and see how they relate to this information. Mm -hmm. 